Before Tiger Woods, before Jack Nicklaus, there was a little giant named Ben Hogan. During a lifetime that saw him rise from the ashes of hell, Ben Hogan won nine majors in a total of 64 tournaments. But simple numbers do not tell the entire story. Hogan's career was a roller coaster ride through tragedy and triumph. His 1953 accomplishments still rank among the greatest single seasons in the history of golf. Hogan shattered the tournament record at Augusta. Then came the 53 U.S. Open. Hogan cleared that hurdle. But the Hawk was not ready to let his clubs cool down. He crossed the Atlantic and added the British Open to what was labeled the Hogan Slam. It remains today that only Tiger Woods and Ben Hogan have won three major championships in the same year. The wee Iceman returned from Scotland, a true American hero. In one of the greatest civic receptions ever given an athlete, some 150,000 fans flooded Broadway for a ticker tape parade. For Ben and wife Valerie, it was the crowning achievement of a comeback for the ages. Ben Hogan was voted the top male athlete of 1953. What made those 1953 achievements so astounding? Just four years earlier, Hogan flirted with death following a head-on auto accident with a bus. Hogan had thrown himself in front of his wife and possibly saved both their lives as the steering wheel smashed through the front seat. He was hospitalized 59 days. Doctors said he might never walk again, much less play golf. But doctors could not know the size of Hogan's heart. Bantam Ben had experienced adversity, younger than most. When Ben was just 10, his father committed suicide. Hogan had to find a job, becoming a caddy. Ben had lost a parent, but found a passion that would shape his entire life. Golf was in his blood. Nothing would come easy for Ben. He dropped out of high school with a dream of becoming a professional golfer. His first tournament on the tour was the 1932 Los Angeles Open, where he finished 38th, winning the paltry sum of $8.50. But Hogan was not about to give up. In 1935, he married a young lady he had met at church, Valerie Fox. Their struggles continued. They were often broke. On several occasions, he quit the tour to find a paying job. It took a decade for Ben to win his first pro tournament. By 1948, Ben's true skills began to emerge. He won two major titles, which included the PGA and the US Open at Riviera Country Club near Los Angeles. A writer called that course Hogan's Alley, and the name stuck. Ben was named Golfer of the Year for 1948. Finally, success had come to Ben Hogan, but it was short-lived. Early in 1949, Hogan's good fortune was ripped away by the auto accident that nearly took his life. He was out of competitive golf for 11 months. Weak and unsteady on his injured legs, Hogan entered the 1950 Los Angeles Open. He'll be lucky to break 90, was the consensus of other golfers. Somehow, he managed to finish second, and his courageous comeback had begun. The galleries responded to Hogan's dogged determination. He was now cheered and revered by many who had considered him unfriendly, cool, and aloof. Five months later, all doubt was erased about a return to form. At the demanding Marion Golf Club outside Philadelphia, Hogan survived Saturday's grueling 36 holes and then an 18-hole three-man playoff to win the U.S. Open. One under par 69 to win the fourth three-way tie in the tournament's 50-year history. $4,000 goes with this trophy, enough for Ben and his wife to celebrate in championship style. Nice going, Ben. The exhausting victory proved Ben Hogan was back. How did this proud Texan remain at the pinnacle of his sport? Well, he was totally devoted to practice. I wake up in the morning just wanting to hit a golf ball, Hogan once said. He was one of the few golfers who played and practiced without a golf glove. In his prime, Hogan stood just 5'8 and weighed less than 150 pounds, but he was one of the longest drivers in golf. He had few friends. He was uncomfortable around strangers. With club in hand, he was completely focused, oblivious to his surroundings, 
said Hogan, I not only can ignore the gallery, I simply don't see them. Hogan's ability to scale the golfing heights in spite of being told he would never walk again is still considered one of the greatest sporting accomplishments in history. His personal triumph captured the imagination of Hollywood in the full-length film, Follow the Sun. In 1957, he authored Five Lessons, The Modern Fundamentals of Golf. It still today is the highest selling golf instruction book of all time. He was credited with changing golf from a game to a science. But more than any accomplishment on his resume, Hogan is remembered for what he had to overcome to rise to prominence. Shy and introverted in life, he was bold and brash when it came to golf. Ben Hogan, who died in 1997 at the age of 84, was the game's little giant. A man who epitomized courage, who made himself into one of the greatest masters of a golf club the sport had ever seen, and a true American legend.